Hi guys and welcome to the Aging Games. Today I wanted to talk to you about aging and if it's possible to slow down the aging process. And if it's possible, should we even try to slow down the aging process? So this video and also a previous Facebook post that I had was inspired by some people that have been commenting on my ads, on my Facebook posts about aging and that we should be embracing aging. We shouldn't be fighting against aging. Aging is a natural process and aging is beautiful and you can actually not stop aging in any way. So basically that we should just embrace it and age gracefully. It's funny how, you know, people get triggered by different things and I, it seems like anti-aging is one of those things as well. So what I really wanted to address here is first of all what is aging and what is anti-aging the aging process is not really just about you know getting wrinkles or getting gray hair and you know the skin sagging and things like that i mean aging is is a very complex thing that is happening inside our bodies not just on our faces not just on the surface but it's happening inside our bodies so when i talk about anti-aging and you know this is what my book's about and and everything else that i talk about in my posts and everything else so for me anti-aging is not just about oh trying to get rid of the wrinkles or trying to get rid of the gray hair you know it's not really just about those superficial things I mean obviously those things are important and for those of us who want to maintain our youth for as long as possible number one I don't think there's anything wrong with that there's nothing wrong with you just embracing aging if that's what you want to do but also for those of us who don't want to embrace it and want to go kicking and screaming then I think that's fine too so first of all let's look at the age Aging process. Think of it this way, guys. I mean, to me, anti-aging is about, for example, keeping your brain fresh and active so that you don't develop dementia. You know, it's about keeping your diet healthy so that you don't put on weight. So you're not putting extra strain on your joints and your knees. You know, anti-aging is really important when it comes to keeping your bones strong to prevent osteoporosis and hip fractures in the future. So you do weight bearing exercises, you work out, you walk, you keep fit. To me, anti-aging is first and foremost, not about beauty. It's about keeping a healthy body. It's about keeping a healthy mind. And I think once you can get those things together and you can fight against the aging process in a healthy, natural way, then I think that that will reflect on the outside as well. Because, you know, healthy mind, healthy body, healthy soul, that kind of all goes together. And I don't think it's possible to radiate health and joy and vibrancy on the outside when you're feeling sick. If you're sick on the inside and you're suffering from diabetes, heart disease, you know, arthritis, all of these things, you're in pain constantly, you're having all kinds of major health issues, your skin's not going to look amazing, you're not going to have that glow. It's everything, your skin is a reflection, your face is a reflection of exactly what's happening inside of your body. So to me, anti-aging is first and foremost taking care of all of this, taking care of my body, nourishing my body. And how do I do this? I do this through being in nature as much as possible. I do this through grounding. I do this by eating the right diet for me, for my body. I do this by drinking water when I'm thirsty. I don't overdo the drinking at all. I don't drink alcohol. I try to limit my sweets. I do like dark chocolate, so I'm not going to say I don't ever have sweets because I couldn't live without my dark chocolate, but I limit that. I mean, I'm not having huge cakes. I don't have bread. I don't have pasta. I try to sleep properly. I meditate on a regular basis because it's so important to turn off the mind and to think about nothing and to de-stress and to get rid of anxiety and just to get rid of bad thoughts and to clear the mind. I think it's so important. So I do all of these things to keep my body healthy. Of course, yeah, I color my hair and I use different products for my face and I use different treatments on my face and for my body, but I also exercise. I work hard, you know, I, like for me, my my health is my top priority. Would this be considered aging gracefully or would this be like something that I should be ashamed of because I'm just not embracing, just embracing the whole getting old, that it's a normal process and I should just, you know, lie back and get old and that's it. Like to me, that's insane because it's just not how I operate. And I think as a culture, we've come to the point where, you know, so many people, like the majority of the population right now is sick, dealing with all kinds of different health issues. And most of the people are overweight. And we've come to a point where these things are not only accepted, they are celebrated. You can't see anything. You can't fat shame. You can't age shame. You can't, you know, everybody gets offended about something. So now have 
have we come to the point where I can't say anti-aging because we shouldn't really be anti-anything? Like everything needs to be embraced. Is that really the future that we're heading towards? I mean, I think this is crazy. I think if there's anything that you don't like about yourself and you can improve it, then you need to do it. If you're overweight and you're not feeling good and you're sick, then do something about it. You know, if you have health conditions that you can improve, then improve upon it. If you're not fit, then get those running shoes on and go out there and do something about it. So, you know, I'm a doer and I'm not an embracer. I'm, I'm just not that type of person. So this is why I wrote my book about all my anti-aging tips. This is why I'm out there on social media and doing these videos for you guys and everything, because I feel like there is so much that we can do. And there's so many things we can, even in this toxic world that we live in, when we are literally bombarded with toxic food, toxic drinks, toxic air, toxic environment with this whole pandemic that's happening right now. It's just so much toxicity around us that it's more important than ever to take care of us, to take care of ourselves, to take care of our insides and to take care of our mind so we can maintain a positive attitude, so we can be healthy, so we can be fit and we can fight against everything that's happening. So guys, I, I'm sorry, but it's, I know I'm ranting a little bit and I did write a long post on Facebook as well. I was very nervous about getting this all out there. I wasn't sure how people were going to react because people do. They just get so triggered nowadays. It's like you just can't say anything without offending someone. But you know what? I decided I'm going to speak my truth and this is my truth. And if somebody doesn't like it, I mean, it's your choice whether you want to follow me or not follow me or unfollow me. You know, it doesn't matter to me. And at the end, like attracts like. So I'm really hoping that, you know, my attitude and my my posts, my videos will attract the type of people who think like me and who want to learn from me or grow together in this and share information together, which I also love to do. So this is my little rant and <laughs> about aging and anti-aging in general. And no, guys, it's not wrong. And you know, again, I don't do Botox. I keep getting accused of this over and over and over again. Look, no Botox. Look at this. See my forehead? Nothing, not a drop. <laughs> I don't even know why I have to keep proving that. It's just crazy. But anyway, if you wanna do Botox and it makes you feel good, do it. You know, if you wanna get fillers, if you wanna get surgery, do what you wanna do. If you like, you know, if you embrace your gray hair, let it grow up, fantastic. You know, in the end, do what makes you happy and just allow everyone else to do what makes them happy. Live and let live, guys, you know? Don't go on social media and make nasty comments on strangers' posts. like. Why? If that's not how you want to live, that's fine. Just keep scrolling. It's so easy. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and to listening to my rant about this. If you want to know more about anti-aging and some of the tips that I use on a regular basis, I'm 51 now. Look, still no Botox. <laughs> Please check out my book below with over a hundred of my favorite anti-aging tips and hacks. The book's doing really well. I'm getting such positive feedback, which makes me so happy. It's also available at Amazon. If you don't want to get the digital version, you can get the paperback. And guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's super important that you also hit the little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.